it looks at this point like we're going to have a majority of it. We still have entertainment decisions to make, but we've made a lot uh, pertaining to the livestock and the length of the fair will be as usual. Uh, we still have some major decisions to make with entertainment, but uh, the fair, the livestock, the junior fair judging, it's all going to happen. Some things that we're not going to have, uh, we're not going to have open livestock judging. We are going to have open horse shows, but we're not going to have open market animal livestock judging. That was probably the big thing that was was taken out of the agenda tonight, and that's mostly for financial reasons. Sales going to be uh, all virtual and a donation. It's not going to be an actual auction. Um, and we will, when we decide which company we're going to go with to handle that for us, that'll all be posted on our website and the links to get to it. It's still going to look different in that we're going to want that six feet of distancing between individuals, you know, people recommending that people wear masks, hand sanitizing stations, all of those things, and really looking at we don't want large groups gathering together in, in one location. And so kind of how do, how do we use the, the capacity of the fairgrounds to space people out? Challenge is up to them, and that's what I really hit on yesterday was we can lay out the greatest plan on paper, but it really comes down to implementation. And, and during the evening events, you know, some of those things, the health department it's not going to be there to kind of police that. And the sheriff was very clear in that as well, that uh, their officers aren't going to be there to get people to space out. That's up to the structure of the, the fair and the fair board themselves to make sure that they're, they're able to maintain that. The $50,000 that will be provided to county fairs if they have their junior fairs is something that we've been working on in the legislature. Uh, the controlling board just approved those funds today. So I wanted to come to the fair board meeting tonight just to hear the concerns from members of the fair board as, uh, as we continue to work toward uh, opening up the fair and what the next steps are going to look like. There were some concerns raised about revenue, but I think that the $50,000 from the state, so long as uh, Wood County goes forward with their fair, that's something that's going to be useful to them to augment that income. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming to the fair. I spent so much time last year uh, with uh, members of the 4-H clubs and the Future Farmers of America and many other uh, youth, and I was just really inspired. And so I look forward to coming back this summer and spending more time with them.